Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Yes, it's me, Shay. I'm here for the weekend read. I know I'm a little late, but work with your girl here, okay? It's 12 a.m. And I was like, I'm gonna do it tonight. I think it's after 12 at this point. I said, I'm gonna do it tonight because you know what? Mm, I don't wanna do it tomorrow, okay? I wanna do it tonight so when you guys wake up, boom! Y'all got that message, okay? Weekend energy. But anyways, how y'all doing? What's up? What's the deal? What's happening? Listen, I didn't have... A couple of days these past couple of days they've been they've been kind of long they just been kind of a little rough you know what i'm saying but you got to keep it pushing you know what i'm saying you just gotta keep pushing you gotta you gotta, you gotta keep pushing but I, that don't stop me from being amazing superb and awesome no it does not i keep that energy yep no matter what i'm going through how are you i'm wonderful and if i'm not wonderful guess what we're gonna get there by the end of the day hello how we start the day is not how we end it okay well unless we started amazing then we're going to even end it on an amazing -er tip, I guess. Whatever. Take it how it resonates. So, we're going to do weekend energy. We're going to hop in. We're going to hop out. Jump in. Jump out. Introduce mm -hmm. yourself. Is that how they go? Something like that. Let me know how it go in the comment section. Anyway, so... Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank all my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. I'm Shay. How y'all doing? Okay. I want to thank all my new subscribers. Hey. I want to thank all my subscribers that I previously had already because you guys are the bomb.com. Okay. So, anyways, we're going to hop right in. I was trying to see if I had any additional messages at that time, but I didn't. At least none that I could think of. My additional message for each and every one of y'all is to live your fucking best life, okay? Don't allow nobody to stop you. Don't allow people's decisions, people's thoughts to stop you from living your best life, okay? If you feel sick, take your ass to the doctor if you still want to have life afterwards, okay? You have to pay attention to your body. Listen to your body. Pay attention to the things that your body is going through. If you're tired, no. If you need rest, get rest, Okay, do that for me. Okay, kiss everyone that you love. Mend those broken relationships that you've been meaning to mend. Be the bigger person. Okay, disconnect from things that's no longer serving you. Okay, I'm gonna really need y'all to disconnect from things that's no longer serving you. Okay, and go start something that's full of abundance and joy in. Something that you can create. Like, I, I'm going to need y'all to do that because you never know when it's going to be your last time. Last time. So I was going to say day, but time and day try to came out at the same time. But anyways, you never know when it's going to be your last day. You never know. You just never know. You don't know. You don't know. So just live every day. Make sure you tell everybody you love that you love them because you don't know if they, you, don't, you just don't know if that's going to be your last time talking to them. Okay? don't but anyways on a on, on a more uh weekend energy note let's hop right in let me see what the overall energy is going to be for the weekend spirits what's the overall energy for the collective please some of you guys need to work on y'all trust issues it's right here and i ain't even got there yet okay some of you guys need to trust the situation okay some of you guys need to understand that yes the situation is codependent and one-sided okay somebody's probably addicted to you hello and you don't want to be bothered. Fucking apologize. Seriously, just do it, okay? Some of you guys need to apologize. Some of you guys got some things to say. It says, this is telling me that some, some of you guys have some things to say. You feel me? Say what you got to say. Don't hold back. This is what I'm saying. Like, you have to say what you have to say. Because you don't know if you're going to get that chance to say it again. You have to say this stuff. You have to get this off your chest. Apologize and move forward. If you're apologizing because, you know what, I apologize. This is just not working out for me. Okay, if I'm apologizing, look, because I hurt your feelings and I didn't mean to even offend you like that. Or it, it, if I broke your heart, I'm sorry. Like, get it off your chest. Stop holding shit in. Apologize. And fucking do it already because it says fucking apologize. Like, I feel like it's saying fucking apologize already. Hello? What are you waiting on? What? That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The whole world has your back. Okay? And this starts to run you once you apologize. 
get to what you got to get to. I've been getting to the money. Everybody mad. Okay, anyways. But get to that project. Get to that person. Whatever whatever you wanted to create, go do it. Whatever you, Whoever you want to express your love to, go do it. Just what are you waiting for? The idea is waiting for it to happen, for it to, for it to spark. All you got to do is just sit down with your pen and your paper, sit down, listen to your music, and just vibe out and see what you come up with. And it's going to be beautiful. Okay? Listen. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Honestly. Can I get two more messages, please? Oh, thank y'all. It says, stop sleeping so damn much, okay? Wake up, you're missing some cool shit. Some of you guys could be resting too much. And some of you guys trying to disconnect from the world and like, oh, and I feel drained. You feel drained because of all the energy that's going on in the world right now. What? We got all these planets in retrograde. We had these eclipses and it's just a lot. Okay, so your energy is going to be... I've been telling y'all that, though. Your energy is going to be one minute you might have a lot of energy, the next minute you might not. But you still got to keep going because whatever you're trying to create is waiting for you. It's waiting on you, baby. It's waiting on you. Okay? So, eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by nature. Some of you guys need to do a detox. What's the overall energy right here? Some of you guys, some of you guys need to do a detox. Like, for real. What that saying? Get some fucking sleep. <sighs> Get some fucking sleep. You're being ass because you're tired. Face to pillow now. Some of you guys have been overly aggressive. And some of you guys need to take a break. So some of you guys haven't been, for some of you guys, some of you guys haven't, you know who you are. Some of you guys have been sleeping too much. You've been lazy and you haven't been getting to your projects. And then another group of you guys, you need to get some sleep because you've been going too hard. You've been you've been too active, okay? So don't forget to detox this weekend. And then right here it says, "You are the shit. Don't forget it. You are the shit. Don't forget it." But I'm not gonna lie, I've been a little distracted. I've been one of them ones. I ain't been sleeping. That's one thing I haven't been doing. But I've been distracted. I've been having a lot of things going on. So it's time to get to it. It's time to get to it. You are being shady. We're not going to even read that. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. I don't know who that's for. But uh, if you're being shady, stop, okay? Because it's just going to get real. Okay. Can we get love messages for the weekend, please, Spirit? Thank you. Oh, for our energy, please. Weekend energy. We have let go of the control issues. Romantic feelings. Ooh. New love. Ooh. Okay. And then children. Mmm. Okay. Some of you guys have been acting like a little kid. Holding your feelings back, not expressing, trying to control the situation, trying to control how you feel about someone, but there's no love here. Like, when something is new and fresh, you can't help but to just, like, be so into it. You get what I'm saying? So, you really need to just release your control issues or release whatever you're trying to control. Like, you're trying to control the situation and the outcome of it and how everything goes and you don't want to do this because of this. No, just stop and let everything flow naturally because someone has you in their feelings. Or you got somebody in their feelings or you are developing feelings for someone with this romantic feelings here and this new love. But with this children card here, either children can stop you from <clears throat> wanting to move forward or this could be you being very... <clears throat> Look, somebody got something to say. Somebody got something to say. Yes, I just lift my, my dress up, okay? Look, my bed is right here. Yes. But somebody has something to say, okay? This is the children card. Somebody has something to say. My throat chakra was acting crazy. But... Either someone has children and this is preventing them from really expressing how they feel and this is really why they have control issues because maybe they not, they're not ready for you to meet the kids yet or maybe they can't live their best life because they have kids. Look, I don't know your life, okay? Take it how it resonates, okay? But children might be involved here or someone is acting childish with this children card, okay? But at the bottom of the deck, it's safe for you to love because I'm feeling like someone truly genuinely cares about you. But look, somebody might be married, Okay, somebody somebody could be married. 
I mean, and they could be in a toxic, codependent relationship with this marriage. You get what I'm saying? Look, we about to get into all that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not today. Not today. What's the overall energy for spirit? Love yourself, okay? Soulmate. Look, you do. This is your soulmate. Whoever that you have feelings for, whoever this new person is, whoever has sparked your eye, whoever has caught your attention, stop trying to control it and just allow it to flow. Allow it to just ease to you. And if it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, then it'll wither away. It'll leave your space. It'll leave your energy. It'll leave your time that you spend. It will leave. But if it keeps resurfacing, there's obviously some unfinished business, okay? But some of you guys need to give your relationship a chance when it comes to someone, okay? And stop, like I said, stop trying to control stuff. Because this is true love. This is true love with this retreat and very soon here. Like, it's like you need to take time away and really figure out what you want very soon. Because I feel like you've been getting to know your soulmates. Like, this is your soulmate. This is someone who knows your soul. Like, this has got to be some kind of, this has got to be deeper than this. But this is just the overall energy for the love portion of the weekend. Um, is there any additional messages or spirit for the weekend? And then we can move forward to this tarot. I'm really not trying to keep y'all too long. I'm really not trying to keep y'all too long today. Okay, but there is true love here. You got new love and you got true love. This is this to me, this energy right here is just so fucking beautiful. And you guys really need to take the time to embrace it. Embrace someone who really give a fuck about you. It's hard to find genuine people. So if you found someone who's genuine, put your guard down. Let your boundaries go. Stop trying to control shit. Okay? Stop trying to manipulate it to where it'll be, it'll work out for you. Because it's going to work out for you regardless. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. It's, it's going to work out for you. Okay? Is what I'm saying here. So, look, just take this how it resonates. Look, some of you guys are going through relationship change. Leaving um because it's affecting your health some of you guys are moving to a new relationship where it's more healthy with this relationship change here um mm -hmm. the only thing i can tell you is just be fucking great at whatever you're doing okay okay just be fucking great at it like and then stop apologizing for being who you are okay period because this situation involves love the additional messages for the weekend from spirit okay let love in let love be your let love be your beacon let love be your light let love be the reason why you move forward like just let love financial s discipline some of you guys are having hardships with finances because of something that has to do it's like i don't know i don't know wait a minute because what I was about to say, I don't think, mm -mm. nature. For, for some of you guys, you're, I don't know. Listen, a person can stop you from your blessings, okay? So when I see this love and financial discipline, someone could be stopping you right here. Because this is financial discipline. It's time for you to get financially disciplined when it comes to love. No, this love card and this financial discipline is letting me know that someone is stopping your blessing. They're, they're stopping it, okay? So if you know it's toxic, you need to let it go, period. I'm sorry, it is what it is. I don't care how long y'all been together. You're not going to get, your, your, your path is stopped. It's a catalyst. Okay? So... Moving forward, let's keep it kicking. But for, but for a lot of you guys, some of you guys need to fall in love with your career. You need to go do something that you love so you can break this this right here. Okay? For some of you guys. And then a lot of you guys need to get out and get into nature and find the balance within yourself. Some of you guys are working through something with your partner here with this domestic harmony. But some of you guys could also be going... Um, some of you guys need to take a break. Some of you guys took a break before you can have a new beginning. This is what this is saying. Some of you guys took a break before you can have a new beginning. And ain't nothing wrong with pausing before you before you move forward. Pausing to reflect. Pausing to, to look back. Pausing to see if it's the direction that you want to go. There's nothing wrong with taking that break. So take it. And when you take it, please listen to your intuition here. Please listen to it. I seen 444. So please listen to it. Listen to your intuition. Allow it to guide you. Okay? Allow it to guide you. 
look, you have new beginning, you have intuition, and then you have leadership. Please listen. It's time for you to take a break. It's time for you to end some things. It's time for you to walk away. It's time for you to move. Take a break and then move into your new beginning with a new mindset, with a fresh way of looking at things, with this intuition here. That's why it's like it's like opening up your awareness to the new beginnings that's coming towards you. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to take leader. It's time for you to leadership. It's time for you to take control. It's time for true love to come in. And true love don't even have to be um, romantically. Your true love could be your career. Hello, your true love could be your kids. It's what you make it. It's what it's, it's what you truly love. You get what I'm saying? Even though I do think that this is a relationship, but I'm just saying for some of you guys, it might be your career. So, I mean, I gotta take, I gotta say, five, five, five. Some of you guys could be going through some changes with rebirth at the bottom of the deck. Come through. Look, rebirth through a love partnership. This is what I'm saying. With this love partnership and this rebirth, this is like something you've been manifesting, but you want... <sighs> I'm not about to do this with y'all today. For some of you guys, rebirth with the love partnership. Some of you guys are going through a transformation when it comes to your love life, okay? Allow it to flow. Allow the changes to occur because with change, new comes. You already have the new beginnings here. You just need to listen to your intuition, allow it to guide you because your intuition is what's really, that your intuition is, it, it wants the best for you. Your intuition ain't your ego. Your intuition is going to push you to become better. Your ego is going to tell you you lack, Okay know the difference but with this um manifestation some of you guys have been manifested manifesting a new partnership and this is why you're going through what you're going through because you're and you could you don't even have to do it on your physical self but your soul has been calling out for something more because your soul knows what it wants right so this is why the rebirth is here because your soul called out like damn i need something that's gonna revitalize them up okay Okay, so this is what happened. But now some of you guys have this forgiveness card and some of you guys have this completion here with self-love. It's like some of you guys had to learn how to love yourself with this rebirth here. Some of you guys had to go through this cycle, trial and tribulation because you had to choose you first. Ain't nothing wrong with choosing you, baby. It's better than you to anybody else. Hello, better say it. Some of you guys had to wrap up something here with this forgiveness. And I hope, I think it's like you're hoping that someone forgives you or it's something like that. Or you want someone to forgive you or they want to forgive you. However it resonates for you, but just take it how, just take it how it resonates. Okay. Just take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. So we're going to hop into the tarot. We're about to hop into the tarot and I'm about to go. See, I ain't going to be here that long today. That's what I say now, right? We're going to hop into the tarot. I'm going to pull your best advice. And I'm about to go. Oh, I'm about to go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. E40. Um, Spirit, can we get the... Can we get the collective energy for the weekend? This weekend, current energy, please, for the weekend, for the collective. What, what weekend guidance do you have for them at this time? Working in their highest good for their highest favor. Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords. So some of you guys are coming out of this deceiving type of energy with the three of pentacles here. Some, ooh, give me one more. I mean, no, give me, um, what's the, what's the collective energy? Some of you guys coming out with the seven of swords and this three of pentacles. Oh, man, because some of you guys could have been lying about some type of relationship or there could have been some type of deceit, deception when it, especially when it comes to work contracts, um, Ooh, my back just cracked, y'all. I hope y'all didn't hear all that. But this was the Nine of Cups. What else, Spirit? The Devil. Mm. Hold on, wait a minute. Oof, the Moon. Okay. Whew. The Page of Pentacles. 
Okay, just off top, I feel like some of you guys have been deceiving yourself when it comes to some type of commitment or when it comes to some type of job or some of you guys have been deceiving yourself here is what this is saying with the Seven of Swords. So, Or if you guys haven't been deceiving yourself, there's been some type of lies and manipulation going on within a relationship is what this is saying. And this is a very toxic relationship with this devil card. It could be heavy Capricorn energy, but... Um, but someone, someone wasn't being true to their heart is what this is saying to me. Okay. And when I see this moon card here, I feel like they were so scared to move forward. But with this page of Pentacles, because this is the last card on this row, with this page of Pentacles, I feel like this person is now going to get the energy to, to go for a fresh start, a new start. I feel like they've had a, a shift in perspective is what this is saying here. With this Eight of Swords right here at the bottom of the deck, because they could have been feeling stuck or trapped with some, within some type of, um, look, with the hair fine here. They could have been feeling stuck or trapped within some type of soulmate karmic connection here with the hair font um, at the bottom of the deck. Some, they could have been feeling stuck or trapped within some type of relationship or this could have been just a lesson for them to go through to be able to move forward with this page of pentacles here. Um, like I said, because someone did have to learn their self-worth or someone had to choose their self first um, with this ten of pentacles here. I ain't gonna lie, some of these cards coming out in reverse, like, I think the devil came out in reverse. So if the devil is coming out in reverse, let me look at this, because I really read these cards in reverse, but if the devil came out in reverse, this is letting me know that there was some type of break in some type of relationship that had a lot to do, that had a lot to do with, like, deception and karma, karma and, um, a very karmic situation with the devil card here. There was a lot of lies and deceiving and manipulation here. And there was some type of end and some type of toxic relationship, some type of codependent relationship here. There was some type of ending here. Someone's finally detaching and letting go with this moon card here. And now they're ready to go on go into unfamiliar territories with this moon. Or this could be the moon energy helping them move forward. Like the whole um solar eclipse could have helped could have really had a lot to do with this energy. Um, because you know the eclipse is all about like dead in situations that's no that's not good okay but um but if not yeah let's keep it kicking okay because the ten of pentacles did come out in reverse so this is some type of family dynamic or some type of relationship that is that was over but oh with the temperance card here with the ten of pentacles oh okay Oh, okay. Okay. Swear it is like, bro. There are some type of karmic, I mean, there are some type of, there are some, someone wants someone to have patience, first of all. Like, please be patient with me or, um, yeah, I just what I'm feeling. Like, someone wants someone to be patient with them because you have the temperance here with the eight of wands here. I feel like someone wants to move forward or someone wants to communicate. You have the, her the hermit here. Mm. This is a lot of major arcana in this read. I ain't gonna lie. The devil, the moon, the hermit, temperance. Mm -hmm. Can I get one more spirit? Can I get one more? Thank you. Then you have the Nine of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. So with this Ten of Pentacles and the Temperance card and the Eight of Wands, I feel like there is going to be some type of reconciliation because Temperance can sometimes be a reconciliation. And I feel like with this um, Temperance and the Eight of Wands, I feel like something is finally going to come together here because it's being divinely guided for some of you. For a lot of you, um, some of you guys went through a breakup and this was also divinely guided. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I'm just a messenger, but it was a breakup. And this was divinely orchestrated by spirit to get you on your path, to get you more so on your journey, because the person that you were with was not in alignment with you. And it's unfortunate. And I feel like you guys have been seeing the signs for a while with this devil energy here and the seven of swords and the moon. It's very deceptive energy. The devil, the seven of swords, the moon. Then you have the three of pentacles. Mm. Yeah, that's very deceptive energy. So I feel like for a while, Spirit has been trying to tell you and you guys were to take action. So with this temperance card, Spirit is like, mm, 
I have to balance out this situation. So what can I do? I don't see the tower here, but with the ten, with the devil in reverse, it, it to me that's kind of like an into something toxic codependent sounds like a tower moment to me. I don't know. I don't know your life. But um, with this hermit card here, there is some type of separation. There is some someone being very distant or there is some separation between someone. Okay. And with the nine of pentacles here, this can also be some type of break because it came out of reverse. It also could be some type of break in some type of family or it can just be someone not really feeling confident to move forward. But with both of these are nine. So this is also letting me know that there are some cycles that's ending here. But you also do have the page of wands. Let's see what the overall energy is. You have the page of wands here at the bottom of the bed. Okay. The hair font. Yeah. The overall energy is this is revolving around a relationship. Okay. A relationship with the death card. Hold on. You can't see that, baby. The death card. Okay. I can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up. This is the ending right here within some type of relationship. Mm. I'm so sorry you guys had to experience that this weekend. Okay. And like I said, with the full hair in reverse, someone wasn't taking the initiative to do it. They weren't. So it was like more of a forced kind of thing. And I keep looking at this true love because some of you guys need to give true love a chance. Okay? For some of you. For some of you. For others of you, some of you guys just need to get the fuck out. Okay? Because it's time for you to be on your path. And within a year from now, ooh, you guys will be where you guys need to be. Some of you guys, again, need to apologize for hurting someone. And then, like I said, someone wants you to have patience. But um, with this overall energy here, being the hair find the death card up under that, yeah, there's definitely a relationship that came to an end, unfortunately. For those of you watching, if you guys went through it, you guys will get through it. You guys will be walking towards something that's going to uplift you and, 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 and put you on your path. Hello, the next person that you're going to meet is going to be designed for you. Because after this, this is like a karmic cycle to the point to where this is going to push you forward, not bring you back with the next person. So, look, six of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. You get what I'm saying? This person is going to want to give to you. They're going to want to love you. They're going to want to nur nurture you. They're going to want to shower you with love and affection and attention. Shit, gifts. I like gifts. <laughs> but, um... Oh, yeah, look, someone wasn't happy, but that's not that's not what I'm doing here. OK, because I want to get into this real quick before I go. Tell me about tell me about the devil, please. Why is the devil here? Spirit? Nope. Let's go into this three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Spirit. Thank you. Oh, I'm not about to do it with these cards. Six of wands in reverse. So tell me about the three of pentacles. Oh, mm. mm -mm -mm. you see, mm. let's just take this into consideration for a minute. You have the king of cups here. Someone is trying to get their shit together emotionally, right? Someone loves someone, but they had to move away. They're going towards someone that they love with this king of cups and the six of swords right here. They had to leave the situation to go towards something that they love. This was a very harsh cycle here with the Six of Swords, okay? With this Page of Wands, there was no love, there was no drive, there was no chemistry, there was no creativity, there was nothing. There was a lot of burden sums and they had to finally release and let it go with the world here. Boom. That's what I just said. I can't make this shit up. I can't. <laughs> I can't make this up. But, 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 Let's just leave that there. With the Nine of Pentacles, like I said, someone's coming very single. The Nine of Pentacles is here twice. Someone is becoming very single, okay? Someone, but for, like I said, for a long time, they were very indecisive about this. And they knew the connection. They knew the connection with this Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck, but they weren't acting on it, okay? Because they were trying to have a more logical approach here. But now this person... This person is looking for something that not only that they can see a future with, they can also build and grow with, with this King of Pentacles and this um, Ace of Swords here. So look at this. The Eight, the eight of Swords in reverse. It's now they're, they're no longer feeling stuck or trapped. And now they want to go towards who? The Queen of Pentacles. What? 
with the Knight of Swords here. With the Ace of Swords. This is clarity and truth and clarity. But someone doesn't have the strength. They don't have their confidence. Their their confidence is not there because I feel like they this has a lot to do with forgiveness. So maybe someone got hurt. But with this Knight of Swords and this Ace of Swords, it's like someone had a renewed mind. I said that. So some of you guys got to take this how it resonates. Okay. Now, let's just say this is not you in a relationship. Like I said, this is you and your job. Your job was toxic or this is you and your, your mental thoughts was getting to you and keeping you from creating your growth and abundance. It was very toxic thinking going on here that you finally had to release and let go. And now it's time for you to branch off and go into what it is that drives you and moves you forward with this moon card here. Because this is your, this is your fears and this is your fears that's actually going to push you forward with this page of wands. Sorry. With this page of pentacles with this ten of cups here ten of cups is not here with this ten of pentacles here and this temperance card this is spirit saying you know what i have you i want to help you get on track right i want to help you start your spiritual journey with this eight of wands i want to help you but you need to go within and do some soul searching and find what truly makes you happy with this nine of pentacles you need to you need to go within because you're already established you already have everything we just need to know what you want to do that's going to that your, that true love that I was telling you about that true love and the um the love and the uh the financial discipline we need you to find what truly makes you happy so you can do what makes you happy so it can bring the abundance that you want and need okay so listen that's all I got that's all I got for you that's all I got for you that that that's all I got for you Oh, oh, let me see. Do you have any additional messages, please, for the weekend for the collective spirit? Look, the Ace of Swords. Any additional messages? Some of you guys are coming in. Some of you guys are gaining all the mental clarity that you need. You don't need anything else because you already know what you need right here with this Ace of Swords. With this Ace of Swords and what else? Look. With the hair fine in reverse, some of you guys need to step outside of your comfort zone with this hair fine in reverse. And you know you need to because you're not happy because the, the things that you were investing in, they weren't growing. There was more of a stuck. There was more of a you're planting your seeds in a in what's that ground? Limestone. You're planting seeds into something that didn't have nothing but rock under it. OK, so it's time for you to move in a new direction with this Ace of Swords here because now you know what you want. You have a clear view of everything with this Page of Cups here, right here as well. What's at the bottom? The Hangman. Some of you guys need to go into the Hangman energy to change your perspective, right? Oh, look, look at this. I can't make this shit up. Ooh, we're not going there. Some of you guys need to change your perspective, but some of you guys are changing your perspective. Because you know you guys are all over the place emotionally, mentally, and physically. That you guys really need to go within and quiet that mind and change your perspective. Look at, look at things in a different light. With this emperor here and this empress in reverse. But the ten of cups though. So to me, this emperor, empress in reverse, they're having trouble right here. If you guys are in a relationship, this is trouble in paradise. This is, this is lack of communication here. Because you are the ten of cups. This is not in reverse. You are the Ten of Cups. You guys need to talk through it. You need to express yourself. You need to open up. You need to stop holding back your feelings and emotions. Emperor in reverse, you need to stop trying to control the situation. Because she's she's tired of giving in to stuff that's codependent and it's not working for her. So be happy. Just be fucking happy. Like, just be happy. I don't understand. Just be happy. Mm-mm. I'm not, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. just be happy just be happy and, and if spirit gave you a renewed mind tap into it listen to the new messages that's being downloaded and sent to you and panic and they're coming to you in dreams you when you listen to music it's coming to you when when you overhear conversations when you keep thinking about the person you get what i'm saying like for some of y'all for others of you guys some of you guys need to really do some take some take the time out to do the soul searching Take the time out to see what makes you happy. Ask yourself, what do I need to do that's going to bring me fulfillment? Because you deserve that. <clears throat> Sorry. Let me pull y'all best advice. Okay. Best advice.
advice for the collective, please, Spirit. This advice, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. They acted crazy already. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle. I felt, I, oh, something did. The best advice is success. Whatever you want is going to be successful. Whatever you do is going to be successful. Whatever you think is going to be successful. This is the energy that I need you to be in. It's going to be successful. Instead of saying, I just want to be successful. Be successful. Act successful. Think successful. Think success. Okay? What else, Spirit? Abundance. Listen, this is your best advice. Your best advice. It's time for you to reconsider. Reconsider because it's time for your abundance to come in. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't tell you in this enough, okay? It's time for your abundance to come in. So it's time for you to reconsider some of the things that you've been accepting, okay? It's time for you to move past some of the things that you've been okay with. I'm just saying, it's time for you to heal your heart and love yourself. Like, ain't nothing wrong with loving you. Ain't nothing wrong with choosing you. Because when you choose you, this is... When you choose you, anything that's connected to you will know what it's like to choose you and put you first. There's nothing wrong with putting you first. Everything after that will benefit off of you loving you, you choosing you, you knowing what you deserve. Meditation brings answers. Don't be so, while you're reconsidering, make sure you're going within. This is that hermit mode energy. Make sure you're going within, okay? Be assertive. Don't hold back. Don't give up. Don't stop. Keep pushing. If it's something that you want, go get it. And the only person that can stop you from getting what you want is you. I'm about to go. Yes. Yes. You think it's not the right time? Yes, it's the right time. You think it's not the right time. You think something is unlikely to happen. You think this. Okay? But a year from now, things will be happening in perfect. Things are happening in perfect timing for you. A year from now, your whole life will be different because you chose you. Period. Period. Who would that say? Listen to your intuition. That's not the one I was going for. You've been asking help for others. You've been asking help. What would that say? Asking help from others when you need to listen to your intuition okay i can't make this up stop asking people for the best advice and you do what the fuck you want to do do what spirit is telling you because spirit ain't gonna lead you wrong god ain't gonna lead you wrong yourself ain't gonna lead you wrong so stop thinking that okay that's what i got for y'all i hope y'all enjoyed the video let me know how it was okay i'm about to get some rest as y'all can see i'm tired but i love y'all okay i love y'all I hope you guys have a great, wonderful, superb weekend. And I might be back. If not, I'm probably going to go live in a group this weekend. So if you're not a part of the group, check in the description box below because all the information you need to stay in contact with me is there. Love y'all.